Hello everyone. How are you today? Uh, today we're going to explain sharing um, a content. All right. When sharing a content, you've got these options: desktop, Windows, or PowerPoint, and whiteboard. Now we're gonna basically go through desktop, window, and PowerPoint. Whiteboard, we're gonna leave it to another video. First of all, if you're sharing desktop, this means everybody in your Teams will be able to see the desktop. Okay, so wherever you go and whatever you open, they will be able to see the desktop. And this is what they're going to be viewing. For me, I will be able to see them just in a small little uh, box at the bottom here. Now, if you go back, you need to stop sharing in order to change the sharing options. They will stop viewing and you, they will see you only as their um, main pen teacher or whatever they call it. So, another sharing option, which is window. Now, when we say window, it means you need to open a window. Like, let's say I will open this window. All right. And if I open this window, this is a PowerPoint from someone. And it's ready for me to share. I will keep it here. And I will be able to share it once it's opened. So I want to share a window. Which window should it be? These are the windows which are opened. So which window should I share? PowerPoint is not there, so I'll find it now. Yes, this is, I want to share this window. Students will be only able to see this window. All right, so if I navigate here, there, if I open anywhere else, students are not able to see me. They will only see the window that I shared, which is courses here. Okay, now we need to stop sharing. Another sharing option, which is PowerPoint. Sharing PowerPoint. You need to upload them here, like I uploaded. If they're not here, you browse. You can upload from your computer or if you have anyone in your OneDrive to upload it. Where is the PowerPoint? This one. Share. Okay. Then it will be uploaded here and they will be able to see it. Now, in the uploading option, in this option, students in this option are able okay to navigate through this uh through this presentation like each student will be able to go through the slides if you press this little eye over here it will not allow them to move through shared presentation you are the one who will be controlling the presentation this option is very useful for people who has PowerPoints like stories and you want the students to read by themselves. So each student, you can allow them, allow them when this is not crossed, allow them to navigate through the presentation. Each one will read alone, work alone from his or her computer. All right. Now, if you stop share presenting, it will stop, of course and your video will be there. And these are the three sharing options. Now, in order to play videos with any of your sharing options, you have to make sure to include computer sound. If you don't include computer sound, the other students or the other attendees will not be able to hear any of the computer sounds it's playing or any of the videos played by your computer. If by any chance you missed doing this and you shared the PowerPoint or the video or whatever, you can, sorry, let's share window. Okay. You can 
see at the top this sign this is include system audio so just remove this cross over the include system audio and they will be able to hear any music you share if this disappears just bring the mouse over at the top and it will appear you press it on and off again and I hope this was useful enough for you guys to understand how things goes on goes around with sharing your desktop PowerPoint or any window please like this video and subscribe to computer ideas for kids